Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Good evening po sa bawat isa. At welcome po sa ating Bible Study Night Tuesday. Tuesday Bible Study Night po tayo ngayon. And uh, since wala pa si, wala pa si uh, Pastor Ashikaina, I'm taking over. <laughs> I'm taking over of the Tuesday Bible Study Night. Yeah. Sige po, pa, pa, pa share po ng ating live stream sa inyo pong mga kakilala, kaibigan, mga mahal sa buhay. Sige po. Paki-share po para naman ma-bless po din at makapag uh, may mapulot na aral at ma-bless ang bawat isa na makakilala nyo po. Eh, ngayon po ako yung nag-share din kaya ako yung nakatingin sa cellphone ko. Yes, I would like to invite everyone, encourage everyone to share our live stream of Bible study. Sige po at uh, and, and uh, I'm sure they will be blessed. Yon, hallelujah. Dami pang dapat siran. Dami pang tao sa mundo na dapat siran ng salita ng Diyos. Amen po ba? Yun. Sino pong excited ngayong gabi? Sige po, mag-share po kayo. Hallelujah. Share po, share our live stream. There is a uh, share button um, sa ilalim po, bandang ilalim. Right uh, beside the uh, comment box. And we'll just have to press it. <laughs> Pakadali naman po mag-share, ano? So, sometimes we are wondering how we can help other people. You can help by sharing this live broadcast. Amen po ba? Yun. Ayan. Marami na, marami na. Ay, nako. Sige po, pa-share. Share. Share mo sa 30 persons. Yun. Nakakilala mo. Hallelujah. Dinig, dinig niyo po ba ako? Hallelujah. Sige ba, tingnan ko sino na ba yung pwede kong batiin dyan. Uh, si Neri Amirilla Diaz is watching with us. Ron Katunggal. Uh, si, uh, si Sunshine nanonood sa atin. <laughs> Doming to Sunshine. <laughs> Puro kalokohan. <laughs> Doming to Sansay. Sige po, uh, sino po may, may gusto magpa-shout out dyan? Yan. Sino pa po yung... Uh, ano? Pakishare po para tayo yung, ano, makapag-bless naman ng uh, mga kaibigan. Maganda po yung ating uh, uh, pag-aaralan ngayong gabi. Napakaganda ng uh, uh, message o topic na ating pag-aaralan ngayong gabi. Ang pamagat po ay... Use your time wisely. How are you going to use your time wisely? I was uh, reading this article about uh, how we spend our lifetime. No, yung sa buong buhay ba? No, anong ga? How do, how are we uh, sh uh, spending it? Baba, we are, we are uh, average po kasi ang tao ay nabubuhay nang right now it's about 70, 65 to 70 years. Ano? So, how are you uh, spending your time? Yung po yun eh. So, ang pamagat nga po ng ating uh, uh, pag-aaralan ngayon is how to use your time wisely. No? Hallelujah. Importante po ito. So, I encourage you kung uh, uh, nanonood ka ngayon, I encourage you to share this uh, live stream to your friends and families. Lenny Luntok is watching right now. Camille Buwan and uh, Rachel Mello. Happy birthday pala kay Sherry Mello and Raj Mello. Si Sherry, asawa po ng Cherry. Cherry ba? Sherry is, uh, has celebrated uh, her birthday yesterday. And along with the, no, ha? Nag-celebrate din birthday si Ann Kalala. Ang ba? daming may birthday ng September, ha? Pati si uh, Ira. No, si Meiji bukas. Yon. Hallelujah. Lenny Luntok, Rachel Mello. Okay, si so thank you brother uh, Ray for the pizza. <laughs> kasi ang kasi to bro sa sa uh, akin. Because right now ako lang mag-isa. <laughs> so I'm I'm actually uh, 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 operating the laptop while broadcasting as well. As in, ako lang po ngayon mag-isa ngayon dito. 
<laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> okay lang po. Yun. Hallelujah. Yun nga, eh, bukas nga po, medyo ano, malakas. Uh, winter na kasi. Ayun. <laughs> Alam niyo po ba, out of the 70 years that uh, was yung average lifespan ng tao, 25 years is we spend it in sleeping. <laughs> Di ba? Tutulog tayo for 25 years. Kasi yung oras natin, di ba, per day, when we, uh, when we sleep, uh, most of the time, no, tutulog tayo, 8 hours, di po ba? John Leo Alba and Dinos Balientes is also watching John Leo Alba. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shout out po sa mga taga JA1 Dera. Ay, we miss you po. <laughs> Yon. And uh, 25 years na natutulog, you know? So out of 65 or 70 years natin, na life span, uh, average lifespan of a uh, person now, nowadays, is actually, it's, uh, yun niya, uh, 25 years, and then uh, work, we average is 10 years. 10 years po tayo, kung i-accumulate mo yung oras na ginugol mo sa pagtatrabaho, that's about 10 years. So, 10 plus 25, that's already 35 years taken off from your life. Diba? Uh, ano pa? Yun. Alam niyo po ba nakakatawa? Kasi ako na natatawa dito eh. When I read it, it's uh, <laughs> natawa ako bigla eh. 17 years, women spent their lives trying to lose weight. <laughs> oh, I just read it, mga kapatid, I have nothing against women, really. But I read it uh, in, uh, in uh, online, yon. I will not reveal my... <laughs> and then, we watch TV and... Um, yung pag nanonood ka ng TV palagi, we spend about eight years. Imagine that. Two years watching commercials. No, and we spend about 1.1 years cleaning our house. Kaya naman, biro mo yun. And 2.5 years cooking. Imagine that, ah. 3.66 years eating. Oh, nasa na yung ano mo. Ano? And we spend 3 months of your life in traffic. Oh, 1.5 years in the bathroom. Oh. 12 days, ah, hindi, 92 days on the toilet. Imagine that. <laughs> Sige, sisend ko sa iyo, Sister Camille, yung source ko. Blessed evening. Uh, si uh, John Ray Paningbata, you blessed evening, bro. Yun, I miss you, bro. I send the source. You think I'm, I'm, I'm just making this up, ah? <laughs> It's true. This uh, this is true. Um, okay. <laughs> ito pa oh. No. Ito nakasulat talaga. Ipapadala ko talaga sa iyo Camille to. Ang sabi po dito, we, women spend nearly one year deciding what to we wear. Imagine that. Nako. At ito na. <laughs> sabi, the average man will spend one year staring at women. Okay naman. Parang hindi naman tutuya tayo. <laughs> uh, women uh, spend 1.5 years doing their hair. Ay, totoo yan. Uh, okay? The other, uh, ano ba ba? Parang ba baka sabihin nyo, puro babae yung tinitira dito. Eh. Hindi naman. Okay? Yun, yun, lang, yun naman ang ano eh. Hmm. Women spend eight, eight years daw shopping. Grabe. See that? This is evening po sa lahat. So, uh, Marian Cab uh, Caballe, Susana, Pilar, Kapugrad, magandang, magandang gabi po sa, sa inyo. Good evening po. Blessed evening. As I said, I was reading this article and I will forward it uh, after some time. <laughs> I'm not really kidding about this. This is uh, a facts and statistics I, I, I uh, discovered on the internet. Uh, so we have to use our time wisely. And how are we going to do that? Okay? Doon po sa Sun, ah, no, Psalms. 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 1, 
Ang sabi po doon, 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 1. Okay? In the spring at the time when kings go up to war, no? Pag daw medyo malamig na, spring. Spring ba yung malamig? Winter pala yun, ano? Spring. Medyo uh, spring. Ano ba yung spring? Kainaman. Sige nga, ano nga yung spring sa Tagalog? Kainaman eh. Spring ay tagsibol. Ah, tagsibol ba yun? <laughs> Pati ako yung naguluhan eh. Winter pala yung pag, ano, pag taglamig. David sent Joab out with the king's men and the whole Israelite army. Yon. Ito po yung panahon na kung saan ay uso ang digmaan. Pag ganito po palang uh, panahon, yung spring, ito po yung ta- panahon na kung saan kings go off to war. And then sabi po, they destroyed the Ammonites and besieged Rabbah, but David remained in Jerusalem. 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 1. Magandang gabi, Antoinette Agka Lim, good evening sa'yo. Okay, sige, let's pray. Yes, Father God, we thank you for this wonderful evening. Salamat po, O Diyos, sa gabi pong ito, sapagkat alam namin na mayroong kang mensahe na ihahatid sa amin. Lord, open our spiritual ears, spiritual heart, upang Lord, matanim ng malalim sa aming puso ang mensahe mo ngayong gabi. At Lord, ma-bless kami. Ito'y mag-guide sa amin, magbigay sa amin ng daan, Lord. Mag-encourage sa amin, mag-motivate sa amin on how we're going to spend wisely our time na ibinigay mo sa amin, Lord. Salamat po, O Diyos. Mag-glorify ka. Ikaw lang po, Lord, ang malawalhati sa aming kalagitnan. Ikaw lamang ang maparangalan. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Ay, tagsibol nga ang spring. Ayo, salamat naman. Tagsibol. Ayo. So during spring, daw uh, the kings usually go to war. Okay? Doon po 'yan na nakasulat po 'yan sa 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 1. Okay? And David sent Joab, Joab out with the king's men. So pinadala niya yung kanyang mga uh, mandirigma, general at mga mandirig, mandirigma. Uh, and they destroyed the Ammonites and besieged Rabbah. But David, yun, sabi po doon, uh, but David remained in Jerusalem. So nanatili siya, hindi pa po siya sumama. He stayed behind. No, So ano nangyari? When he stayed behind, ito po yun eh. This is the point where, ano, natandaan niyo po ba? No, when that at the time when when kings went to battle, David stayed behind at Jeru- Jerusalem. At that time, other kings were in the battlefield. David was in bed. Naka ano ba? Hilata nang nakahilata sa uh, <clears throat> Rama. The brave king of Israel was idle. Walang ginagawa. Ito po yung nangyari pag walang ginagawa. And when we are spending our time idle, Walang ginagawa, no? David had too much time on his hands. At the time he should have been at war with his army, he fell into sin with Bathsheba. Yun. He was in the wrong place and doing the wrong things. David saw Bathsheba taking a bath. Kasi nga, wala siyang ginagawa. So, nag, uh, uh, napapunta siya doon sa balcony, ay nakita niya sa Bathsheba. No? Kaya nga pa, bat. Nanaliligo, bat si ba? Yun. Hallelujah. Yun. David lasted an after another man's wife and was so consumed by his lust that he did not consider the consequences. He impregnated. Yun. Nag, nag, uh, ano siya eh? Nabuntis niya si bat si ba? And proceeded to kill her husband. Ang ginawa niya para... Hindi ano na yung nakagawa siya ng kasalanan na buntis niya si Batsiba, yung asawa si Uria, yung general niya pinadala sa unahan. Uh, hindi yung unang-unang pulang ginawa niya pinauwi muna para uh, hindi mabisto na na nabuntis si uh, niya ni David si Batsiba. Ang ginawa niya pinauwi muna niya si Uria para sipingan si Batsiba. Pero itong si Uria hindi eh, kasi alam niya 
since alam niya yung mga tauhan niya nakikipaglaban, they are on the battlefield. So, Uria, uh, ay, si Uria, nantulog lang po sa labas ng bahay nila. Ayaw niya kasing parang uh, anak, na iisip niya na ang kanyang mga tauhan nagkipaglaban tapos siya eh kasama ang kanyang asawa. Ayaw niya ng ganun. So, hindi, hindi nagtagumpay yung plano ni, Dave, ni Dave, King David. At then, so ang ginawa niya, pinadala niya sa unahan ng labanan si Uria upang siya ang unang mamatay sa labanan. So, ganun nga po nangyari, napatay si Uria. Yun. Okay? Hallelujah. So, King David idleness resulted into lust, adultery, and death, murder. Yun po yun eh. Kala natin yung yung pagsasawalang ginagawa. Pag walang tayong ginagawa, parang walang nangyayari, eh, hindi ta, eh, ma, ito po'y maaaring way, maging way o doorway ng kaaway upang kumilos. Magkaroon ng way ang kaaway. No. Now, In order not to fall into the errors of David, we should always be busy. Saan busy? Sa gawain, of course, ng Diyos. Hindi sa kung saan anong, anong gawain ang ginagawa. And we have to spend our time wisely. Spend your spare time being active. Get involved with productive things. Ang sabi po doon sa uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4 to 5, He who has a slack hand becomes poor. Yon, pagtamad, hindi guma, walang ginagawa, ay siya maghihirap. But the hand of the diligent makes rich. Pag ikaw ay masipag, ay bayayaman ka. He who gathers in summer is a wise son. He who sleeps in harvest is a son who causes shame. Yung tag-ane, ikaw ay matutulog lang, ay siya. Kailangan, halimbawa ngayon, ay tag-araw, ay Tag-ane, bay mag-ane, no mga kapatid? So, sabi po doon sa Psalms chapter 90, verse 12, So, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So, dapat po pala tayo ma- maging aware, maging sensitive, maging conscious on how to spend our time, our 24 hours. Ano? Baka yung 24 hours mo, 24 hours na natutulog, 24 hours na ano, Nagpe-Facebook, 24 hours na nag, uh, titiktok, ano ba? How do you spend your 24 hours? Your 7 days a week. Your 1,440 minutes and 86,400 seconds. Yun. How do you spend it? Yun. Hallelujah. So, we were not given this gift of life just to sit around. Mga kapatid, tandaan mo yan. Binig- hindi tayo binigyan ng uh, buhay, ng gift of life, just to sit around. We are to maximize the moment, every moment, even in the time of global lockdown. Kat- uh, sa katulad ng panahon nyo nito, dapat maging productive po tayo. Mayroong ginagawa. Amen po ba? Ang sabi po ng Lord sa Psalms chapter 39, verse 4 to 5, Oh, tandaan, Psalms chapter 49, 39, ah, sorry, Psalms chapter 39, chapter 4 to 5, Lord, make me, make me to know my end and what is the measure of my days that I may know how to pray, how pray I am. So dapat alam natin sa sarili natin kung gaano kaimportante ang ating Buhay, ang oras, bawat sandali. Indeed, you have made my days as hundred. Sabi po sa verse 5. And my age, and my age is as nothing before you. Certainly, every man at his best state is his but before. So, para lang tayo daw hamog. Yun. Dito ay pag. Walang hamog dito eh. Sa Middle East. Pag. Hamog. Yun. Mga kapatid, tandaan po natin, our days on earth are numbered. 
may bilang-bilang po ang ating panahon na iginugugol din eh. Ano? So, only God knows the number of days of our lives. Diyos lamang po nakakaalam kung gaano katagal ang ating ilalagi din eh. He, only He determines when we are born and how long we live in this world. Siya po ang nagdidetermine noon. We, so, we must not waste any moment of it. Dapat hindi po natin inaaksaya sa walang kakwenta-kwenta. Ito po yun eh. Hallelujah. ba? Diba? Maraming pagkakataon, we spend our time quarreling. Small things. Alam mo yun? Ah, walang kakwenta-kwentang bagay. Yung nakikipag-away ka sa walang kakwenta-kwenta. Walang katorya-torya. ba? Diba? Naman. We spend our time with do not waste your your time with the ano mali, yung mga petty things ba mga kapatid time is a precious gift hindi po yan na ibabalik mga kapatid we must use it wisely we must determine in mind what is worth spending time and what we should avoid by all means dapat alam natin na ito wala namang ano to pagaksayan ko ng panahon Pinag-aaksayang mo ng panahon. Hello? Diba? This gift of time will eventually, mga kapad, run out someday. Mauubos po yan. Nauubos. Diba? So we must focus on what we can do daily and not what we can do. Yun ang nangyayari eh. Para bang inuubos mo yung panahon mo sa kaiisip ng mga bagay na hindi mo nagawa Iisipin mo yung, ang isip, instead of thinking about things that you, could, you can do. No? Hindi yung nagre-regret ka lagi doon sa mga bagay na hindi mo nagawa. No? Binabalik-baliklikan. Mga nakaraan. No? Hallelujah. Good evening. Antoinette Siyasat San Pedro. Mary Ann Jacobe. Yun. Kaya nga po ang sabi niya, sabi ng Lord, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, Rebe- redeeming the time because the days are evil. The word redeeming means to buy up, to buy up ransom or rescue from loss. Kailangan mabawi natin yan. To redeem the time is to make the most of it. Dapat we spend our time wisely. No? It is to be careful in how we live. Paano tayo mamuhay? Pero, namumuhay tayo saan? Diba? To redeem the time is to apply wisdom. It is becoming conscious of the fact that we may not have another day. Dapat, alam na, makabukas ay eh, ano. So, yung, alam niyo po yun? Yung seize the day, you know, when I'm preaching or when I'm teaching, you know, I always do as if this is my, my last preaching or this is my last teaching. Hindi yung parang you take it for granted. So, alam mo yun, yung, yung mga tao minsan, di ba, sinasabi ko lagi, ano? <laughs> sinasabi ko lang. Sorry, sa totoong buhay, sinasabi ko palagi. Sabi ko la- palagi ay... I-express mo palagi yung pagmamahal mo, lalo na sa mga magulang. O kung pababayan na isang araw, hindi mo sila masabihin na mahal kita. Love you, ma'am. I love you, dad. Yeah. And this is what I realized when I lost my wife. I realized also when I lost my parents. Both my parents. Although, ayun nyo, uh, before they, uh, ano, Uh, they were gone, ay talagang in-express ko yung pagmamahal ko. So, I have no ano, regrets. Dahil na ipahayag ko, naramdaman nila na mahal ko sila. Amen po ba? So, dapat ganun. Hindi yung parang pag namatay na, ay, mahal na mahal kita. Hindi ko nasabi. Kay naman. To redeem the time is to make the most of every opportunity. It is to live daily in knowledge and presence of God. Dapat ganun. Diba? Uh, we should start the day by committing our day to the Lord and asking Him to help us. To redeem the time is to properly prioritize and doing what is really important. 
It is to live as God would have us. We can redeem the time through careful planning or every, of every second of the day. No? We can control our schedule so that our time is efficiently spent and we can ultimately reach our goals and, and fulfill our destinies. When you lose your focus, you lose time. So, invest your time wisely. Ang sabi po doon sa Proverbs chapter 24, verse 33 to 34. Again, Proverbs 24, 33 to 34. Chapter 24, verse 33 to 34. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding up the hands to rest. So shall your poverty come like a prowler and you need like an armed man. This the moment. Nang sinasabi po nila, carpe gem. Tama ba yung bigkas ko noon, Brother uh, Ray, Ray Charmelo? Carpe gem. Seize the day. You may not be able to change what happened yesterday. But you can plan today to change your tomorrow. Tanda mo po yun. Tanda mo yun, kapatid. You may not be able to change what happened yesterday, but you can plan today to change your tomorrow. Ha? Pwede mong gawin yun, kapatid. You can do something today that will greatly affect your tomorrow, yung kinabukasan mo. You can make the most of your time today para maganda yung kinabukasan mo. Amen po ba? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, ang sabi po doon sa Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, lagi natin itong na, napapakinggan, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. Yon. Now, <clears throat> ang sabi po, there is a common saying that says, uh, time and tide waits, time and tide waits for none. This is indeed true, mga kapatid. Time waits for no one. That's why we have to value our time. It comes and it goes. Hindi po tayo hinihintahin yan. Yun. So we should never waste precious time without purpose and meaning. Hindi yung, okay. ba? Diba? Lagi na lang. Since the beginning of time, God has determined there would be seasons. May mga seasons. Each moment, season, and time is our opportunity and responsibility. Every day, kapatid, is an opportunity for us to live a productive life. Bawat umaga, di ba, sabi ni Lord, His mercies are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. No, mga kapatid, today is the day, you know? Today is an opportunity to redefine our priorities, purpose, and vision. Tignan mo bukas, pag, pag uh, planohin mo bukas, anong gagawin mo? Ano ngayon, pinaplano, tapos bukas, i-execute mo, tapos plano, bukas, i-execute, di ba? No, mga kapatid, no? Today is an opportunity to re-establish our goals. It is an opportunity to bury the past and move into a new future. Huwag yung you're living in the past. There are blessings and opportunities attached to every season we spend on earth. Mayroon po blessings and opportunity. Bawat umaga, sabi nga, and ba? Diba, weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. We should value the importance of time. No. Papano? How are we going to value the importance of time? Papano natin mapapakita yon, Kapatid? No? One, start right with God. Ang sabi po doon sa, papano yon? Psalms chapter 63 verse 1 to 2. Again, Psalms chapter 63 verse 1 to 2. Ang sabi po doon, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Mga kapatid, the first thing we should do when we wake is to thank God. 
pagbising pa lang sa umaga, pasalamat na tayo sa Diyos. Each day is a gift. May galo ng Diyos yon yung tayo nagising. Magpasalamat ka kaagad. And we should see it as an opportunity God has given us to serve Him. Time spent with God is never wasted. You know, yung pag uh, serve natin sa Diyos ay hindi nawawala ng kabuluhan. Whenever you spend time in God's presence, it's always refreshing, valuable, and revealing. Kapatid, turn off your phones, computers, and anything that dis- distracts you. Read His Word with more intensity. Pag gising mo ng umaga, huwag mo munang bubuksan yung iyong cellphone. Buksan mo man, ay yung iyong Bible app ang iyong buksan. Huwag yung Messenger, huwag yung FB, huwag yung TikTok. ba? Diba? Ha? Hindi yung, ang bukas agad eh, sino nag-message? Ano? Huwag ganun. Busahin mo muna yung Word of God. Seek to be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit and trust Him. No? For, for today and the future. Rejoice in the Lord. Umaga pa lang, mag-rejoice na as the joy of the Lord give you strength. Yun ang magbibigay sa iyo ng kalakasan. You'll be able to face any problems you have to deal with sa buong maghapon. Kapatid, totoo yan. Pangalawa, spend time in the Word of God. Aba, kay naman naman. Katulad nito, uh, di ba? May Bible study, ba? I-share mo kapatid, share it with everyone, with everyone you know. So they will know the value of time, di ba? Spend time in the Word of God, pag-aaral, take notes of the verses that we are, ano, uh, minimension po natin dito. Take notes para mabalikan mo. And when you, uh, parang ano, di ba, ang Word of God ay Sword of the Spirit. Kung may pagkakataon na ikaw ay nanghihina, bay, basahin mo yung ano. Uh, okay, nakalimutan mo. You, you want to be reminded of the promises of the Lord, of the instruction of the Lord. Aba, edi iyan, nakasulat. Boy, ito ang sabi. Oh. Di ba? Amen po ba? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, pangat, il, pang ilan na? Pangalawa, pangatlo. Pray, of course. Magpipray tayo palagi. Prayer is never wasted. It's never a waste of time. Take time each day to pray. Kapatid, seek divine wisdom and diba- discern what's important. Eh, kausapin mo ang Lord. Ha? Kausapin mo. Araw-araw. Kaya nga ang sabi ko, kahapon, kahapon lang ano, yung pray without ceasing. How do we do that? By being in a constant state of prayer. Hindi yung, ang ginagawa lang natin, act of prayer lang. Yung 30 minutes or one hour na tayo nagpipray. And then, after that, ay wala na, hindi na natin nakakausap ang Diyos. So, balikan nyo po yung ating um, message ka kahapon, yung sa ating prayer meeting. Pang-apat, trust God for each day as it comes. Pang-apat, trust God. Di ba? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path straight. Di ba? Pro- Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust God. Magtiwala sa Diyos. Magtiwala ka lang sa Diyos. Sapagkat sa Diyos, walang imposible kaya niyang gawin. Kapatid, basta magtiwala ka sa Kanya. Hindi doon sa pakilala mo. Magtiwala ka sa Diyos. Sa Diyos ka magtiwala. Okay? Ang sabi nga po sa Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, no? Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all knowledge and understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen po ba? Okay? Now, next, work on your goals or projects. Prioritize. 
dapat marunong ka mag-priority. Hindi yung, yung lahat na lang eh. Rumble eh. Sabay-sabay. Kaya ikaw ay nababurn out. Yan ang nangyayari. Kasi pinagsasabay sabay mo. Oh, so, hindi ka marunong mag-priority. No? Hindi lahat po ng priority ay importante. Pero lahat ng importante ay priority. <laughs> Use the time at your disposal to do it. Take time to review, refocus, and reset. Hmm. Ano pa? Pang pito. Add value to someone's life. Keep in touch. Importante po yun. No, yung we spend quality time with our family and friends. No, communicate with them. Spend less time on social media. O kaya, may social media, gamitin mo yun para communicate. Hindi parang doon ka magbababad. Tapos na kinalimutan mo na kakamustahin mo yung sa social media, yung kaibigan mo, katabi mo pala. Hello. 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 Diba? Mayroon namang messenger, pwede matawagan ang nanay at tatay. O, pwede naman tawagan yung anak, pwede naman tawagan yung ano, asawa. Ah, ay naman. Musta you? Dito na mi. Okay? Okay? Pang pito, take time to rest. Diba yan? Para hindi ma-burn out. No? Magkaroon ng pana. Ah, number six pa lang ba? Ayun, kaya naman. Nag-testing lang ako para baka number six pa lang. <laughs> number six. Okay, ah, it's just on my memory kasi. Um, and uh, yung tinitest ko lang kung nakikinig ka, Kamil. Yun. <laughs> Take time to rest. Pahinga din pag may time, ha? Pahinga din, pero hindi laging pahinga. No? Dapat may, may time ka for rest para magbakasyon. No? Okay? Number seven. Anong sabi? Number seven, forget the past. Live in the present and pursue the future. Oh. Kalimutan mo na ang nakaraan. No? Hindi yung lagi, doon ka na bubuhay sa iyong nakaraan. Huwag na ganun na. Dati, dati, oh, hindi na. Ngayon, ay mabuhay ka. Live in the present and pursue the future. Dapat po. Ang sabi po doon sa Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. Okay, take note. Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. Ang sabi po doon, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Will I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert? Di ba? Di ba? You can't live in the past. Hindi ka pwede mabuhay sa kahapon. You can't. You can't live in the future either. No, you can only live in the moment. When you let go, God opens your eyes. To see new opportunities. Ang sabi po doon sa Psalms chapter 118 verse 24, This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen po ba? Forget, forget that the uncertainty of tomorrow. Kapatid, kalimutan mo na yun. <laughs> Talagang ganun, hindi natin po hindi hindi dapat tayo mag-worry about tomorrow because we serve God who knows our tomorrows. Ano? Uh, no? Ang sabi po sa 1 John 2:17, "And the world is passing away and the last of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever." Ang Diyos po ay naandoon na sa ating kinabukasan. Nahihanda niya na. Ay wa, Jeremiah 29:11. Kalimutan natin, di ba? Inihanda na ng Diyos ang ating kinabukasan. Nakahanda na. Okay? Today's a gift. It is a gift from God and a, an opportunity to invest in that which lasts forever. Our time on earth is short and limited. Kapatid, what is your life? 
It is like a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes away. James 4.14 No, it will end someday. A day is coming when we shall stand before the Almighty God and give our report of our time on earth. So where will you go when his, this life is over? Saan kaya? Saan tayo mapupunta? When, there's li- when this life is over, you'll have to determine in this life as to where you'll spend, you will spend eternity. Saan? Kapatid, the way you live right now impacts your eternity. Malaki po yung impact niya sa eternity mo. So you, we need to use our time wisely as you lay, live daily, invest in your eternal future. Be wise. You cannot afford, you cannot afford to miss heaven. And if you're not prepared yet, what are you waiting for? Kung hindi ka pahanda, ano pa ang hinihintay mo? If you want, kapatid, to begin a relationship with God, sige. Kapatid, I invite you with this prayer. Lagay mo yung kamay mo sa puso mo. Sabihin mo, Lord God, I come to you today. I know I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. I acknowledge that I am a sinner who needs forgiveness. I believe, Lord, that Jesus is the, your son who died on the cross to save me and he is resurrected on the third day. I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I surrender my life to him today. I invite Jesus into my heart today. By this prayer, I know I am saved. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me and making me a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you have followed that prayer, kapatid, start living your life to the fullest. Spend it wisely. Amen po ba? Hallelujah. I hope na meron po kayo natutunan sa ating pong pinag-aralan. Hallelujah. Susana, Kukalda, Kunanan is watching with us. And uh, sino pa po? Uh, Ati Needs, Bida Imbang. Yung kasama niya siguro, asawa niya, si uh, Kuya Alan. And uh, sino pa ba? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sige po. At uh, I really hope na kayo po ay na-bless. Mary Han Kobe Tenorio. Yon, Jamil Bu, John Leo Alba, Michelle Rivera Leones de Zaliza, Mel Alpahora Honson, and Meiji Pacheco Langita. Happy birthday sa iyo bukas. Happy birthday to you. Again, happy birthday kay uh, Sherry Cherry Mello and Rog Mello na celebrate na kanyang kaarawan din ngayon. Uh, at uh, bukas naman si Meiji. Huwag kang ma-pressure, Meiji. Nag, nag-celebrate din pala nung Friday si ano, kaarawan din, birthday din ni uh, Ate Sheila. Yun. Okay. Ron Katunggal. And uh, who else? Sino po po na dyan? Hindi ko na, baka hindi, mayroon akong hindi na bati dyan. Si Edgar Ecolarinal. Good evening, bro. How are you? Kamusta ka na? Yun. Uh, Yon. Russell Iglesia. Good evening po sa inyo. God bless po. Okay? Uh, at uh, hanggang dito na lamang po tayo sa ating Bible study. Tomorrow po ay abangan po ulit ninyo ang ating Bible Wednesday Bible study. Uh, at uh, nandun po tayo sa uh, John chapter 19 verse 20-21 ng uh, book of John. Okay? Magpapatuloy po tayo ng ating pag-aaral po muli bukas. So, two, two days po tayong may Bible study, two days na prayer meeting, two days na worship, yun. and then yung ating talk show na WSJ with Pastora Jola and Pastora Shikaina. Yun. Amen po ba? So, tandaan nyo po yung schedule natin, ha? 
hindi na na ipapla show schedule eh. Kung nakalimutan nyo po, meron po tayong video doon sa ating page kung ano po yung mga schedule ng ating mga broadcast every day. We have daily broadcast po, live broadcast po from uh, J1 Bordobay. Yun. Again, uh, this is Pastor Rowell E.D. po. And uh, good evening. God bless everyone. Click here. Click here. Click, Click here. here. Click here. Talpak mo ja. Click here. Ala eh. Click here. Click here to subscribe.